Hey, everybody. Hey, Sherelle. It's hot in here from John's piping hot tea. <laughs> Listen, like, um, y'all need to sit down and put your safety belts on and get ready because this is insanity. Um, and I've never seen anything like this before. Like, you know, I've been covering stories on reality TV for, for quite a while now. Mm -hmm. And this is something I was like, oh my God. And I want to start off by saying, you know, I've been following um, the show Seeking Sister Wise since it started. Um, th this year, I haven't posted much about it because it kind of got away from me a little bit, but I was following the sketchiness of the Snowdens from day one. Um, a lot of things have come to light. And there's a lot of things that are being said now about the Snowdens, uh, with the which we'll circle back to later, <clears throat> about the restraining orders that were um, placed on him and his wife. Uh, they have a they have like a fraud lawsuit worth forty two thousand dollars against them. But this is something that no one in the universe has but me right now, and I'm sharing it with you guys because this is insane. So I don't even know how to start this the right way, but let me let me kind of build a timeline. Um, all right. So the, how we happened to stumble upon this was because if you follow Dimitri on um, social media, uh, whether it be Twitter or Instagram, he always hashtags himself, which I'm like, that's weird. Like whenever I post about something, I don't post John hashtag John Yates. Like I think that's just like stupid. Like, yeah. do you hashtag yourself Sherelle's Never. world? Like when when you post a story? Never. It's a little bit much, but because of Dimitri always hashtagging himself, we fell down this rabbit hole of uh a man who has a lot to say about Dimitri. So let's just get to it. All right. So I'm going to start with a video because this is, this is the first thing that we found when going through this, going down the rabbit hole. Now this is, all right, I'm just going to play the video and then you, we'll, we'll talk about it in a second. Listen, the mother of my children just turned herself in to jail for running me and my children off the road. It's been over 24 hours and I do not know where my sons are. I've been calling around and calling people and I can't get nobody on the phone. The last known place that I know is that she took them out of town with a man by the name of Demetri Snowden. And I don't know where my children are. So if you see my sons, please call 911 immediately and share this message. Because I don't play any games about my children. I love my children. Should I so, play? Go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So he's saying that his wife ran off with Dimitri and took the kids with her? Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it one more time. Okay. Um, because I have a lot of stuff to follow this. But it's important. Listen. The mother of my children just turned herself in to jail for running me and my children off the road. It's been over 24 hours and I do not know where my sons are. I've been calling around and calling people and I can't get nobody on the phone. The last known place that I know is that she took them out of town with a man by the name of Demetri Snowden. And I don't know where my children are. So if you see my sons, please Call 911 immediately and share this message because I don't play any games about my children. I love my children. Now, I should say that this was back in 2017. Um, this is, bef I think this is right before they started filming. And I'm not going to give this man's um, identity out because uh, I don't want to do that to him. He's already been through enough. And I've spoken to him. Um, but this was in 2017. Um, uh, the exact date was, let me give you the exact date just so we're clear. This is not, this, this is not something that just happened. This is, uh, four years ago. Um, hold on one second. 
this was that video was made on um uh uh may 29 2017 okay so that's number one so let's let's kind of go continue going down this road of craziness so um now these are from his facebook account he, he was very uh active on social media trying to find out where his sons were um and allegedly last known to be with dimitri snowden um if i were a woman there be an amber alert um that was on may may 30th um now on may 31st two eyewitnesses established uh they they've seen i guess allegedly uh, the kids with dimitri um on june 10 2017 they are still hiding my sons i i blocked the names out of their of his minor children um so that's that on june 12th um I, I again i blocked the names out of the children how does and feel about not knowing where their father is not knowing he's crying out for them um on june 27 2017 um help a father find his children authorities haven't made contact it's been a month and he, he's he's putting up like kidnapping charges mm. Mm. um now here's where here, here's where it gets interesting if it's not interesting enough already um this is another facebook post uh now I, I blocked out the pictures of his children um please help share someone has tricked someone has been tricked into volunteering to conceal the boys which is a crime punishable in life by prison uh, the kids names are being kidnapped according to georgia law now we know that the snowdens did live in georgia before they moved to california um please return them safely to their father if you see this call 911 or and then he had his phone number which i'm not going to put out there um now uh, the next this is all in order here's the next um post on september 3rd 2017 i miss you his sons he still hasn't seen them yet um now here's here's a real zinger um this is another facebook post um my children are missing. Please help me. The mother of my children turned herself into jail for running me and my children off the road. It has been 24 hours. I can't locate my sons. Last I spoke to their mother, she claimed to be pregnant by Dimitri Snowden. Are you saying what I'm thinking you're saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm just reading. I mean, there's more, but I mean, what? I mean, it, this is insane. Now on the show they have three children, right? Well, I don't know. I, I no, I, I don't I don't I think that those are Ashley's. I think that since this has happened. You have to repeat that, you froze. Go ahead. Um I, I think that since this has happened, he has his kids back. I don't I don't know. I no, no, I don't think that those are the kids on the show. Okay. Okay. Um, but at some point during the span between May and um, November of 2017, this guy's kids, his sons were missing. And allegedly the only, the last person who had his sons was Dimitri Snowden, because I guess that this guy's wife had some type of uh, relationship with Dimitri Snowden and uh she doesn't sound so great because as as he said she tried to run him off the road mm -hmm. she, she turned herself into jail but at the same time his kids were still missing for like a period of months where was his how long has he been married to the woman on the show what I, I, think that, I think that they had gotten married in 2012 or 2011 he was married to somebody else um i think from 2003 oh my god my cat go just go 2003 to um 2011 and i think that he married ashley in 2012. i might be off by a year give or take but i think that's like the timeline um but she was then, around when all this was happening yes right? oh my god 
Oh my God. Really? Yes. Uh, now, I was, already thought they were strange before, but this is quite bizarre. Yeah. I mean, Ashley was definitely a part of this as they were married in 2012, I think. And this, we're talking about 2017. I don't know if they were legal. I don't know if him and Ashley are legally married or like spiritually married, but I'm, I'm guessing that they might be legally married because uh, him and his first wife, and I can't not pronounce her name, but uh, she, she wasn't around for this, but Ashley was allegedly. So going back to the timeline, he's not legally married to Ashley. Okay. So, but they never legally married. Um, but Ashley was definitely around during this time when Dimitri allegedly had this guy, these, this guy's sons, his, his like child, like infant children, like small kids. They're creepy. They're creepy. Go ahead. Creepy. All right. So, um, now again, this was um, when he did the video, and as you could see, the the timestamp was five twenty nine seventeen. Um, he goes, "Please share that my sons are missing. Their mom was, their mom was uh, seen with Dimitri Snowden drunk. Uh, craziness." Um, now we have here. Okay, I'll, I'll circle back to that. So that's the timeline of stuff that this man has posted about Dimitri. Um, he was alleging that Dimitri had his kids, his, his sons. Sounds like he lures women in <laughs> to be, to live with him and Ashley. It's kind of creepy. I mean, they, they had, they've had a, you know, I mean, and if you're, if you've been watching the show over the last, couple of years you know that they have like a revolving door of people going in and out of their household um and they seem all like you know roses on the show but now which we're gonna which will be part two of this now the other people who have been attached to the snowdens are now speaking out wow um Ooh. and it's it's a lot uh, it's a lot but these are like, you know, serious allegations that uh, this man has said, you know, about Dimitri, allegedly. Um, and it's, you know, I should also note that uh, there, there have been two, two different um, legal proceedings put forth in motion. One was... Um, this man versus Dimitri and um, three other co-defendants, which I don't want to get into right now. Um, but that fit in the timeline between when his sons were missing and when you know, to November when he stopped talking about it. Um, and then there, um, there was also uh, a, an alleged, because I've only seen part of the paperwork, but from what I can gather, there is Dimitri filed a stalking and harassment suit against this guy. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in 2019, the judge threw it out, said there wasn't any, there wasn't enough evidence for it. Um, so because I had spoken to this guy, I had found this a couple of years ago. Um, but it, like, you know, the show wasn't really that big of a deal back then. You know, people didn't know what it was. Um, and I reached out to him a couple of years back and I was like, this is insane. And we had talked here and there, but he's like, I, you know, I can't talk anything. There's stuff that's going on um, legally, which stops me from talking about it. Um, so um, we had started talking again a couple of years ago and then he, had, he uh, I saw paperwork saying that um, there was a stalking and harassment case, but it was thrown out, um, which would give him the ability to, to speak about it. So that that should be worth mentioning. Um, now- That's creepy. He's really creepy. I mean, it's just like, you know, there's a lot of like holes in his story. Like I know he, he, he said that he was like a mixed martial arts 
Um, yeah. You know, he was a, an MMA fighter. Uh, meanwhile, he had no professional record of ever doing any type <laughs> of fights. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, we, we you know, unless he's like fighting in like, you know, uh, I don't know, like the McDonald's basement. Like, I, like you know, like, I, yeah. I don't know, but like we, we looked him up for MMA and there's no record of him fighting anyone ever professionally. And he made a big stink about that. <laughs> um, like when I think his first season, like, oh, I'm an MMA fighter. Like I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other. But there's no record of him ever fighting anybody professionally. At least like maybe he I, I, maybe he trained in the gym. I don't know. But from what we can find, there's like a lot of holes in the story. And the reason why I'm doing this live now is because a lot of stuff has come out to light about him recently um, via, uh, you know. OK, uh, again. Very Charles Manson. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I don't know. If, I mean, I just don't think he's, you know, very sketchy and we've been following thank you natalie very sketchy and i've been following him for a while even though i haven't been posting about the show it doesn't mean i don't know what i remember um so not only does he not have any uh, professional mma uh titles or or bouts on his record is there's nothing amateur either so mm -hmm. wow um, i told you this is crazy it's very crazy is there more well, yeah, um, the more is kind of stuff that's already been exposed, um, which we'll get into, but I think it kind of all like melds together um, nicely um, because this, this whole, you know, this guy, as you can see from the video, was very upset. I, obviously, I mean, I don't have children, but if someone, if my two sons were gone, I'd yeah. be going everywhere I could yeah. to find them. And uh, according to him, this man, it was Dimitri who allegedly had him for a series of months, not like, you know, a couple of days or a weekend or a week. No, from between May and November of mm. 2019, that's like six months. And there's, there's not much known about, um, you know, the Snowdens then because they were on the show yet. It was like right before they got on the first season. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't know. It's crazy, but like now let's let's talk about what's being said now about them. So in case you guys haven't known uh, or been following, um, Dimitri Snowden was just hit with um, a restraining order uh, from Crystalline. Crystalline was one of the girls who, now they're courting two girls this season, uh, Crystalline and Taylor. And now both Crystalline and Taylor have spoken out against Dimitri. What are um, they saying? Well, Crystalline, Crystalline, I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, which one is the blonde? Crystalline. And I, I, I don't, if, I, if I'm pronouncing her name, wrong, I apologize. But Crystalline was from South Africa. Um, she has a couple of kids herself. She, on the show, she flew over to meet them to try things out for like a weekend or something like that. She's from South Africa. And Everything went well, it seems so well that, um, you know, the season hasn't, the, the season hasn't stopped airing yet, but, um, it's safe to assume since, you know, reading you know, off what Star sarcasm wrote a great, a great article about this, um, that she flew back with her kids, um, to move in with the Snowdens after this happened. So spoiler alert, uh, Crystalline does, Crystalline does move in with the Snowdens, right? Um, and then in January, she gets a restraining order against both Dimitri and Ashley. And Ashley is Dimitri's, you know, main wife, spiritual wife, whatever. So let's get into that. So I'm going to read all, I'll read a little bit of what Starcasm wrote about. And I'm going to put Starcasm stories in my um, story on Instagram. So if you want to read the full article when we're done with this live, um, you're more than welcome to. It's a it's good stuff. But well, let me get to it. So um, Crystalline put a restraining order on um, Dimitri and Ashley, like I just said. Um, she filed against them on March 12th. And it also included their five and 10 year old daughters, which I thought 
was weird after knowing the restraining order against the kids (laughs) yeah like you know and i don't i don't know but like you know after i i know what happened with this guy's kids with dimitri allegedly so like the fact that she got restraining orders against her minor children yeah from dimitri after seeing what this guy said about him i was like huh you know it kind of like linked up a little bit like you know yeah. Like um, my kids alone? Well, according to this man, Dimitri allegedly kidnapped his two sons. Mm. And when I read that she filed for a restraining order against both Dimitri and Ashley, um Oh, he froze. Let's see if he comes back. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to say this while John is frozen. I always had a creep factor about Dimitri. He just seemed, you're back? Yeah, I mean, go ahead though. Go ahead, talk. He froze. No, go ahead. I, I, I when I hear. freeze, I can hear you still. Like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, it's, it is what it is. Okay. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I want to hear it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, now, according to the, um, this is what Starcasm wrote. Um, according to, they, they got a copy of the, the, of the domestic violence restraining order. Um, and I have to be careful how I word this because you know how YouTube is, right? Yes. So, um, uh, very careful. Crystal, Crystalline wrote that I was woken up by him slamming my head into the headboard, um, of the bed and he was yelling at me. Um, I had to like omit some things, but if you want to read sarcasm, Wait, she's saying she will sleep. Yeah. And, and then he up, woken up at him. Like, you know, are you serious? Right. Yeah. Oh, well, according to sarcasm and, and, and that's what the, what that was filed in the police report. Um, oh, so wow. He's got some pro- he reminds me of like a cult leader. Do you, does he remind you of that? It, it, he just like, he's always been like super like, grimy to me like i like i i'm like i don't know and like their life's like it's it's just that that whole household like the household dynamic to me is very weird you know yes like you know last the last season they made uh vanessa who's speaking out about them now she's speaking out yes what's she saying well we're gonna get to that okay okay go ahead (laughs) but you know, the way like they had to do like a, a pH balance, you know, uh, alkaline diet to make sure that their uh, vagina is for like. Stop. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> John, I'm, stop. I'm, what? <laughs> guys in the comments, back me up here. Like they, <laughs> what? It, it's a very weird dynamic in that household. Like we're, and I feel like Ashley is just as guilty as Dimitri. I I don't think that Ashley is like a victim in this. I feel like Ashley is, is is, they're 50, 50. And like, if you jump on my keyboard one more time, I'm going to go away, go. Um, But I feel like Ashley is not some victim, but I feel like she's very much into this because she's very like hands on. Are you saying she's weird too? (laughs) Is that what you're saying? I and mean, they, like, you know, they, she had to like, like, you know, cut, you know, meat out of her, her thing and like only eat fish. And they had, they had to get like their, and I don't know how this stuff works. I don't have, I don't have a vagina. I'm sorry. If I, if I say the wrong thing, I apologize in advance, but they had to have like their vaginas in sync. Like it was insane. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just, it, like, I, that's really. Uh, I mean, but like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm probably wording this the wrong way, but like, it's. And Vanessa was like, "Wow, you want me to give up a lot?" And like, then like, you know, uh, Ashley took Vanessa, which you saw, like, you know, when they had to get like their vagina seamed, which me and Cody did the cameo over. I just posted that a, a couple, like, you know, they had, <laughs> you know, Ashley and Vanessa had to sit over like hot boxes of steam and like get like their. That that's strange. That's strange, John. That's very strange. Um, I you know so it, there's like a lot of rules and regulations in this house, and I feel like Ashley is just as hands on as Dimitri is with this. Yeah. 
it, it maybe more so than to me. I, I, it's weird. Like, I feel like she, there's just something off, like yeah, yeah. really, really off there. Um, so going back to what Starkey has in wrote, um, um, hold on, the former. Um, now, um, Crystalline alleged that Dimitri would, um, you know, when like you're eating something and like it goes down the wrong pipe and you can't breathe. Yeah. You know, so he would like do that to her. Oh my God. During. Yes. Happy time. Yeah. He's one of the, like, I've heard this before. People do that. Like, yeah. She um, saying he, that he did that to her. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, that happened numerous times in the last year. Um, and that he would do that against her will while they were like being intimate. He's weird. Really? He's weird. I mean, you know, you've heard that that could go wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you could hurt, really, really hurt somebody. Yeah. Well, it gets, there's more. Um <laughs> Um, Christine uh, says that the this um, caused bruises and redness around her neck, um, um, and and that sometimes um, his his nails from would cause scratches. Ooh. So she would have scratches and bruising and redness around her neck from that. I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what to say. That That's, he's weird. Um, when asked why she is requesting that her children also be included in the restraining order, Crystalline says that Dimitri is not, is not the father of my two daughters and they are afraid of him. Mm. And she often yells and punches the walls. Mm. Or punches yeah, he's sounding like a cult leader to me. Now, wait, now, now. I told this is this is a crazy lie. Um, so she also filed against Ashley, the the not wife, not wife number one. Um, Crystalline also took a restraining order against Ashley Snowden on the same day. In another incident from January, she alleges that Ashley shoved shoved me to prevent me from leaving the home. My husband and I shared with her. So I guess Crystalline was trying to leave and getting like getting to the door or something like that. And Ashley shut her. And listen, this is a legend. Well, this this is from like a police report. So I guess that's not a legend. But in my head, I can totally see Ashley doing that. Just like me thinking. Because I, I really think that Ashley is just as culpable as Dimitri is and like they're Bonnie and Clyde in my eyes. Like they're but 50, 50 down, down the road. Like, I just don't think these are good people mm. and I could be wrong, but seeing everything and following this for like four years now, I'm like, you could be wrong, but you're reading it off a police report. <laughs> so I don't think you're wrong. It's just very strange. They're strange. Now it's important to say, um, okay. Now, both restraining orders were dismissed by the judge because there was evidence that um, Dimitri had that um, he had a text from um, Crystalline saying that she'd like to be. And um, with that, and I guess like whatever else, the judge felt that uh, Crystalline didn't uh, meet the burden of proof. So both restraining orders were demit. Were, were she had a text saying sh that she likes that. Right. I guess like, you know, I guess like when they were texting back and forth, like, you know, oh, you know, when you're talking dirty, whatever in a text or, you know, I don't have to text Cody that stuff. I'll just tell him out loud. But you know, when like, you, you know, like when you're talking to people, like, I mm -hmm. guess like while she was still in South Africa and they were having like, they were sexting or whatever, I guess Ashley might've said that, that she likes to be, and I guess with that, I guess Dimitri provided that to the court and then the judge saw that and it was dropped. So the, the restraining orders um, with uh, 
against, you know, Christine against Ashley and Dimitri were both dismissed. Ooh, but you know what? I believe parts of this because of the history that you just laid down. You know, that guy, he, he took his kids and- Allegedly. Allegedly took the kids and it just, they just seem weird to me. I don't know, they just seem weird. No, they're very weird. Like I think anybody who watches, like, I had to, I watched that show for five seconds when it first started, like four years ago. I'm like, these people are weird. Like, I, like it just, they're, you know, when everything's like row, like they wear the bindis, she has like, you know, like it's all like peace and happiness and, you know, namaste and all that stuff. And I'm like, they're trying way too hard to, you know, be someone that they're not. That's how yeah. I always saw them. Like, just like, yeah, I, I, I don't buy this one bit. All right. So, um, so, uh, you know, sarcasm for that they were the, the, um, they were dropped. And, you know, recently Ashley had removed all her stuff on her Instagram about Dimitri, but I think she was just saving face, but I want to get to the other part of my overlay. Um, okay. So as I said, um, um, you know, the other sister wives have been speaking out about, um, Ash, uh, Ashley and Dimitri. So, let me get this out here. I want to hear this. This is good. Okay. So um, Vanessa writes a few nights ago, um, the same people who did you wrong are telling a different version of the same story. They're playing the victim. Um, and let me, I can't, I don't know my reading glasses on because I'm old. So let me, let me get my thing up so I can read the caption she wrote. Um, and then she writes underneath it, um, enough. Stop, stop lying to the world and and yourselves. Get help. There's no shame in therapy. <sighs> now this she is Vanessa, who was the um, the the applicant last season. Uh, Kelly Zimmer said they found they sound fel felonious to me. No wonder why Vanessa left quickly and quietly. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, like, and I, I I've spoken to Vanessa too when that happened. But for some reason, everybody is scared to death to talk about the Snowdens. I think he, I think he's like a cult leader. That's what I think. And there'll be repercussions if you do something about it, you know, maybe and that's then, what's going on. And then Vanessa also just said that um, if you continually have problems with everyone you come across, more likely it's a problem as you with the same caption. And like, you know, she didn't say who she's talking about, but we don't know who she's talking about. Um, also, Vanessa has been sharing Taylor's, Taylor stories and posts and commenting on that. Who's Taylor? Now, Taylor is the other okay. um, Person, potential, yeah. potential sister wife that they court. I hate when they say, when they say I, we're courting. Like, that's, just, that's like creepy to me. Like, yeah. oh, we're courting, like, we're courting two sister, like, like just saying courting, like, like no, I don't want. That's just weird. But Taylor is. Um, so they had Chris, Crystalline, and they had um, Taylor. Those were the two sister wives. They are courting this season, and now, and now Taylor has been speaking out about this. And Taylor um, writes this. Um, hold on. She goes sick of the fake news, sick of the lies. It's no. I'm nobody's enabler. Throw the whole show away. She goes, I said, what the, what the F I said, I know too much to be silenced. And then her hashtags are everything here though, because Taylor writes, um, hashtag ban the show, pull the family, um, quit enabling this shit is sick. Seeking sister wife, uh, cancel seeking sister wife, uh, TLC. So she wants to cancel the show that she's on. Yeah. <laughs> make it make sense, John. I'm confused. Because clearly there's something going on with everybody the, Snow the Snowdens have contact with. Mm. Every, every single person. But it seems uh, like Taylor's supporting them. Is she? No, no, no. Okay. No, it's the opposite. No, she, she is. Oh, that's why she wants the show canceled. Okay. Right, because she feels like, you know, 
well, she, 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 she should know better, but you know, she's saying cancel the Snowdens, cancel this, cancel that. Um, so it's three so people that's telling us things that they're shaky. It's uh, the guy. Okay. It's Vanessa. It's, would you say Crystalline or Crystalline whatever? Crystalline and Taylor. That's four people. Wow. Wow. He needs to be investigated. <laughs> he mean, does. He does. It, it's, I mean, and like, you know, they're resharing each other's comments. Uh, Vanessa, Crystalline, Taylor, they're all talking to each other on each other's posts. They're all commenting. They're all supporting each other. It's a, it's a very big front against the Snowdens. Wow. You know, John, they can't, they probably are strange. I mean, that many people, you could say one was a, doesn't know what they're talking about. And then maybe another one you might say is a coincidence before. And yes. And there was also another, right. There was also another sister wife from before the show that has issues with them. Not one person. And they keep saying, you know, their, their thing is like, you know, oh, we keep, you know, we can't find the right person. You know, we, we've been searching forever. Um, it's you like, you know, Adrian. Yeah, it, that's it. Adrian Joe. Thank you. That's her. She's another person who the, the Snowdens have courted who, who are speaking out now against them. They and, probably take you in their home, start playing head games with you to destroy your self-esteem, make you babysit those kids, probably do all the cooking and cleaning. And then you have your night to be with him and he's in there. But there's something weird because like, you know, Vanessa, who is, you know, they got, they had their, their marriage ceremony, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then like right after that happened, Vanessa was out, out, you know, and, you know, we don't know how the rest of the season is going to play out because, you know, it's not done uh, being aired on TV, but I'm guessing the same thing is going to happen with Crystalline, right? So uh, they, and I don't know this, I'm just, you know, spitballing here. But uh, they probably have like this ceremony, right? They get married or whatever. Then Crystalline moves to uh, California with the Snowdens. And then, boom, she's out. Same thing happened with Vanessa. She got married. Uh, as soon as they got married, uh, boom, she was out. Like some, And, you know... I don't know. It, it, it's um, something weird is going on. But what? I mean, they're scared to talk. They need to open up and tell us what's going on. It's nothing to be scared of. But maybe he has mental control over them. You know what I mean? Like, I, but I just don't think it's like Dimitri. I, I think Ashley has a huge part in this. And like, Ashley might want to separate herself from this. And I'm just like, you know, but like how I see it, I think that Ashley is as guilty as Dimitri, mm -hmm. if there's any, you know, with, with what's going on. Like, yeah. I don't think that she's some like idiot who's just like, oh, Dimitri, like, okay, whatever you say, like, you know, no, I think Ashley has like a big hand in whatever's going on here. Yeah. She's just about as creepy as he is. The thing she does makes no sense. You know, like, I don't know. She's just weird. And then, you know, after, um, what happened, like, you know, they mentioned it briefly to how, like, you know, once Vanessa and, and once Vanessa, they got married and like, you know, Vanessa left, she went home back to Seattle, her and her, her, um, her sister and her mom had to come and get her things. Cause she, she didn't even want to go back to like their house alone mm. you know, to get their things. Mm. I, mean, I probably wouldn't want to either if, you know, there, there's something really going on in that house where like, I don't. They're I, scared. I, they're scared. I'm scared talking about it because, like, I I just think that there's, yeah. they're not up to like something good, you know. Yeah. And I'm just giving my opinion, but like, and then you know, um, uh, Vanessa went to Australia. She she done she done left the country. She went to Australia. Wow. After that, I wonder what's really going on. Do you think eventually somebody's gonna talk? I hope so. Well, if they do, I hope they talk to me about it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep calling, John. You got to figure out. Well, you got to get one of them to talk. Um, and um, uh, that also Taylor uh, went to Mexico. So both both Vanessa and Taylor like skipped 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 out of the country. Yeah, Mexico. She's got she got the hell out of there, didn't she? 
Wow. Like there's something like, and, you know, and then um, Crystalline went back to South Africa. Wow. And like, I, I don't know, there's there's game afoot um, with with these people. And it it's... Well, when I watched the show, I didn't watch it this season. When I watched it the previous season, it was like Ashley was controlling. Like you said, the diets, the... Uh, I need you to do that and this. And it was like Vanessa had to do, you know, had to please her too. Not in that way. I think she had to please Ashley more than, than Dimitri. Yeah. Like, I, yeah. you know, that's why I say I think Ashley is just as culpable as Dimitri in all this. Yeah. You know, mm. you, know you watch the other couple. This show's a bullshit show anyways. Like, like you know, whatever. It's just trash TV and it's on TLC. Like, you know, and so you watch it. But... You know, you see the other the other couples on this show, and the husband's really you know pulling rank all the time. But like Ashley is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's probably just as bad as he is. Something's going on. Yeah. You, you don't know. think that all all three hooked up one day, do you? And and they don't want that out there, do you? I mean, he seems very to like you know intimate moments a lot. I, I don't know. I I, I don't know. Um, John, do you, don't you think it's really weird how these little children hang on to potential? It, yeah, like, you know, and like they're doing a show about, you know, and they have this, this revolving door of people coming in and out and like, oh, look, it's your new mommy for like three weeks. Yeah, yeah. And that, that's shitty for the kids. Yeah. So yeah, Natalie, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, but there's something definitely creepy. Just Not say right. that. <laughs> Just say that. <laughs> Not right. This doesn't feel right. I mean, that's what you're saying. With yeah. the Snowden bunch. Um, and there's there's just so much stuff coming out against them. And I, I just don't know how they can hide this under the rug anymore. I don't think they can. I mean, now with you doing this video, you know how what happens last time when you break stories, other people will pick it up. I don't think they'll be able to hide this anymore. Um, you know, and especially since both Crystalline and um, Taylor are both speaking out against him while the show is still on. Then you have Vanessa, who was last season's victim, uh, That's victim. backing them up. Yeah. Wow. I mean, we're, this is a mess. And, you know, this poor man, like, you know, hold on. I have a, a Vanessa posted something else, which I want to share. <sighs> Sorry. Let me find this real quick. I didn't have any overlay, but sorry. Give me one second. Vanessa wrote, uh, Vanessa wrote, um, the most dangerous predators among us are, inge are inge ingeniously veiled. They, care they carefully surround themselves with people entirely unlike themselves, that is, with deeply em empathetic human beings who wish to please others, who, who are slow to judge, who are excessively tolerant and who have an eye for the good to be found in others. They know how to exploit to their own advantage such character traits. It is their association with such people that maximizes their chances of perpetrating the, the, the facade and keeping themselves fr free from exposure. Mm. I mean... That's deep. Wow. I mean... Ugh, John, you're right. I didn't. I don't know what to say. You told me I wouldn't know what to say. I know. I like. I, you know. <laughs> yeah. But like watching all this stuff happen, like the last couple of weeks with the, the restraining orders and the the abuse claims and this and the other, and then I see, you know, and it, it it's not something new allegedly to the students because like look one more time. I mean, I'm just gonna play this again. Listen. The mother of my children just turned herself in to jail for running me and my children off the road. It's been over 24 hours and I do not know where my sons are. 
I've been calling around and calling people and I can't get nobody on the phone. The last known place that I know is that she took them out of town with a man by the name of Demetrius Snowden. And I don't know where my children are. So if you see my sons, please call 911 immediately and share this message because I don't play any games about my children. I love my children. Now, now, I know what, let, let me say something real quick. What kind of pull does Dimitri allegedly have on these people that he brings in? For someone, for this man's wife, right, mm -hmm. to run her, the, the, the father of children off the road, you know, there's something weird here. Like, what kind of pull well, do I they think have on these people? It's brainwashing. When you get in someone's head, then you can control whatever you want. And that's what they're fearful of. They're still thinking of the old ways. Like, because really, he has no power, but he makes you think that he does. But it's weird. Like, you know, th this is like, you know, I hate this. Like, this is the father of this woman's children, and she's trying to run him off the road mm -mm. because of allegedly Dimitri Snowden. Yeah, it's crazy. You no, know, and and then his kids thank allegedly thanks to this woman who was with Dimitri. Maybe 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 she was like another potential uh, sister wife. Let me ask you this. I know you can't say names, but do you know, you don't have to tell us who his girl baby's mother is, the guy that just talked? I know who he is. Um, no, her, the baby mama that, I, yes. that ran off with the kids. I'm yeah. sorry? Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, do you think she'll ever come out? I don't know. Um, and like I said, like there's like, you know, court document and I, I haven't posted everything. Oh, there's, wow. there's, there's more to this. There's more. There's more. Is he? Are we gonna wake up one day and Dimitri's gonna be on the news? <laughs> he should be. <laughs> I mean, he's sounding like he's gonna he's gonna be taken away pretty. I mean, wow. But look look at the kind of pull, allegedly, that they have over this this woman who tried to run the the father of her children off the road for him allegedly. Um, and then, and then allegedly his kids were with them after she turned herself into jail and he, then he couldn't find these kids for six months. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's wild. Yeah. And I feel like they're, you know, and I'm, again, I'm just speculating and spit firing here, but I, I feel like they are playing mind games with these people that, that they bring into their household like Vanessa mm -hmm. and Crystal mm -hmm. and and Taylor and whoever else. And then that's why everyone's escaping and go, not only are they escaping, right? They're going to different countries. Yeah. yeah. You know, Crystal from South Africa. They don't feel safe probably. Crystal from South Africa, right? Mm -hmm. So she, you know, that's, that's easy. But like, you know, Vanessa and Taylor are both American, but why did they both have to leave the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's well, it sounds like too. If you don't do what they say, they'll enforce some kind of punishment for it. That's what it sounds like to me. No, I I would agree with you. Like you know, and I you know, according to what was read on this police report that was you know that sarcasm wrote on, I believe that you know, like in my head, I see that Crystal was probably trying to get out of the house, and and Ashley was like, boom, you know, like no. Yeah. Wow. And you know, what sucks about that is that like, you know, I, I really hope that, you know, because th the case got dismissed because of this text that Dimitri had that Chrysalin said she liked being like, you know, like that. Um, but like, that could have been like, you know, just because she may have texted him that doesn't mean that there was. Oh, he froze again. Uh, Seeing from what I'm, am I, am I here? You, you, I could hear you. You're just frozen. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, there you go. And from seeing what I'm seeing, it's it's a um, a repetitious 
Oh, he froze again. I'm glad he got the story out before he froze. I mean, those people are really weird. And I think whatever they're doing behind closed doors is eventually going to come to light. You can't hide things like that forever. And it sounds like, if you ask me, Vanessa, oh, you were gone. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, I was going to say this. It sounds like to me that Vanessa planned her escape. And she left without clothes and shoes. Does it sound like that to you? Like, it sounds like she was trying to get out the house, like sleeping with the enemy type stuff. Like, yeah, you, you know, yeah. you watch it with the enemy, like the cans weren't in the right, the right order, <laughs> you know, like the towels yeah. weren't all lined up together. Yeah. Um, and also to be noted, which is important. Um, Crystalline also referred to Dimitri as her husband in the, um, the restraining order. So obviously spoiler alert, they probably they they I guess they get like spiritually married at the end of the season. Um but you know it's I don't know. Insane. It's insane. Just call it what it is. Especially to in this day. No, these people are not oh, he froze. Or just people who like think that he froze. Couple he in this, uh, on this show. Can you hear me? Yeah, but you're frozen. Okay. There um, I think only one couple on this this series is like tr traditionally Mormon. You know, like that, like those weird people, like what. Um, but um, most of the people on this show aren't like religiously Mormon. They just want to have this lifestyle, you know, and that's that. Which is which is strange. You're right. They don't have religious reasons why they're doing this. Why are they? Do they ever say on the show why they? are doing this oh he froze okay i'm it's back okay okay i'm gonna have to wrap this up soon because my internet is hating me right now um <laughs> but um you know it this is a show about people who are just like you know in my opinion just greedy and I, I don't know. Like, I don't know how people mm. can like get married to like, it's like me. It's like saying to Cody, like, you know what, Cody? Um, I had a revelation and God came to me last night and he said, I need to have another husband. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, and if it were like Cody saying that to me, I'd be like out the door. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, you and your new revelation can go yeah. right out that door. Like, you know, it, it's just, and remind, refresh my memory. Did their parents disagree with this lifestyle, right? Or something like that? Pretty much everyone's families disagree with the lifestyle. Because, like, you know, most of the people on the show aren't, you know, um, Mormon or fundamental or from, you know, like that, like that, like circle, like, you know, not from Utah. You know, it, it's uh, just people who, in my opinion, want to have more than one wife and they're saying, oh, God's calling me to do this. So, mm, I need to have another wife, you know? And like, I, I don't know. I, I, that makes Ashley very dark to me to accept that lifestyle. We, You aren't Mormon. You don't live in a community that, you know, practices that. So what's her end game in that? <laughs> like, what does she get out of no, it? No, I think Ashley just wants like a babysitter. You yeah, know, I think Ashley so. doesn't want to deal no. with the kids. And that's yeah. what I honestly think. And I, I have no sympathy or empathy for Ashley. Not, not one bit, not one drop. Yeah. Because I, in my, like I said, like in my head, she is just as guilty as Dimitri at, in whatever stunts they're pulling. Hmm. I bet uh, you they're going to be on the news one day. <laughs> I really think so. Like, you know, and I, 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 I just think everybody associated with the Snowdens, allegedly, but like, it's kind of a fact, but allegedly anyways, has had an issue with them. Everybody, mm. every single person that we've seen on the show, uh, you know, and, and um, Dimitri was married to his, legally married to his first wife, I think in like 2003 to 2011. And then that fizzled out. And then he met Ashley the year after, like, there's just like something off with with that uh and i you know i just i don't know they belong on tlc i guess i i i, I can't put I, I don't know i'm just disgusted by it um and if anybody's feeling bad for ashley don't because in my eyes you know it, it, 
Ashley could have been like the whole the whole person behind this. You know what? Yeah, she mean? could be. She you very know? well could be. Yeah, like the you know, I, yeah. I don't put anything past Ashley. I I think she's actually smarter than Dimitri. She is, and more calculated. Yeah. So, um, but the rest of the people on the show, like the whole show's bullshit. Um, you know, it, it really is. Uh, but you know, it is what it is to each their own, I guess. Um, and, uh, I got, nothing, I got nothing left to say anything else. Like I, you know, any questions? No, good reporting, John, that's what I want to say. Good reporting. And then I want to say these people are weird and it has to come out eventually, especially now that they're kind of teaming up. Someone's going to get the strength to say, no, let me tell you what really happened. And I just think it's going to come out. But people are terrified of them, especially the people who have had interactions with them. Mm. You know, whether whether it was the guy who I spoke about earlier. Um, He's scared of them, too? Well, Dimitri, he doesn't want any trouble. Dimitri filed paperwork against them. That's why there's, what? there's more to it. Oh, okay. You tell that later. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. This is just part one in a series. Uh, we're oh going to do a whole, a whole mini series on this, but uh, there's, you know, everyone is really afraid of them. You know, people are leaving the country, literally leaving the country who to get away from them. There's got to be a reason for that. Yeah. Ooh, crazy. And we just thought we were just watching a friendly television show. <laughs> we didn't know. We had no idea. Oh, oh, he froze again. I'm glad he did this because we need to know what's really going on with these people. I mean, all right, before I freeze again, feet. I'm going to end this. Yeah. Okay. All right. So um, everybody have a great night. Thank you. Um, I, like I said, there, there's more to come, um, but I'm, I'm really like looking into this um, and hopefully I can give you some more info shortly. And like I, Ashley, Ashley might knock on my door. In a few minutes with her with her bindi and she might say like uh john you are definitely going to get some phone she, calls i guarantee I'm a, you i'm afraid of them i'm on, but like whatever the truth has to come out so yeah. here it is so everybody have a great night thank you for watching um thank you for the super chats and um i will see you guys soon bye guys bye at end there we go